If you properly implement Q&A schema correctly on your website, then you can show up for all the questions and all the answers around your specific subject in the search results. It's incredibly powerful. So today we're going to tell you how to find the most important questions that your customers are asking online and how to implement Q&A schema around those questions with the correct answers so that you can show up in the search engines and get more traffic and customers. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Before you get started, make sure to click the notification bell and make sure to subscribe so that you can get more videos like this in the future. Okay, I'm gonna break this one up into free tools and paid tools. Let's start with the free ones. The first one is Google Search Console. Here's how you use it. If you wanna see which questions are leading people to your site, Google Search Console is a great place to start. It's not exactly automated though. You need to search the six question terms, who, what, where, when, why, and how, and through that process, by searching in Google Search Console, you're gonna be able to find all the different questions that people are asking around your website. The next one is people also asked and related queries. So once you have some questions to start with, you can actually head to the SERP for that question and investigate the people also asked and related queries section. Customers use this in real time, so it's a good place to see for yourself what's going on behind the SEO scenes. The next one is Google Trends, one of my favorite tools. The power of Google Trends is real. It might not deliver questions word for word, but you can use this platform to find common questions around certain topics. Next is something called Also Asked. Also Asked has a tagline that reads, discover the questions people are asking. It's no wonder this website landed on our list of tools for finding the best questions for Q&A schema. On the website, you can choose your region, language, and term, and you'll unearth a whole slew of questions geared in the right direction. The results are pretty visually appealing as well. Next is Quora. This is a user-generated website around questions and answers, so it's a great place to look. Finally, the last free tool is Reddit. Depending on your industry, Reddit could be very helpful. There's currently 138,000 subreddits, and in the subreddits, you're going to see a sidebar with FAQs. Okay, let's look at the paid tools. The first one is SEMrush. With SEMrush, they have a specific area that shows you all the questions around any keyword. It's really powerful. Next is Moz. Moz also includes an option to filter keywords by question. Another one is AREFs. AREFs allows you to filter by question as well. Next is Answer the Public, one of my favorites. This one used to be in the free category, but the website has recently moved over to paid, but it gives you this beautiful graph of all the questions around any keyword. Next one is Keyword Tool. This is about $69 a month, and it also has some great information. The final one is Stat. Stat is pretty expensive, but they've got some good data. Okay, now let's talk about using FAQ schema to capitalize on questions. Despite a recent drop in the prevalence of FAQ results in Google, FAQ schema is still relevant. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add your questions and the responses and the FAQ schema right to the page. When it comes to blog posts for any industry, ask the questions that your readers can answer in the comments. Now, if you don't want to necessarily have the question and the answer and answer it yourself, you can actually give your readers on a blog post the opportunity to answer a question for FAQ schema in the comments. That's a fun little hack for user-generated content websites. Also, did you know that you could do this on Google My Business? If your customers are asking particular questions about your business, you can actually upload them to the QA section here and have your business answer them. You need to use a Gmail account to upload questions, then use your business account to answer them. Here's an example of a QA section for home goods in Reading, Massachusetts. The second answer should give you a pretty good chuckle. Not really that funny. At the end of the day, here's what you should be doing. You should be putting QA schema, the questions and the direct answers to that on all the most important web pages on your website. The more that you can do this, the better. There's a great chance that it's gonna get pulled out to be featured in the SERPs, or it may even show up in voice search. And in general, Google and other websites out there that crawl websites will see this as a positive thing and it could potentially help your ranking. So highly recommend that you put QA schema on these pages and you take the time to find the most important questions and answers around any topic that you're writing on. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I always love getting comments from you, so please leave one below and I will see you next time. Have a great day.